Hi everyone, um, it's me again, um, Michael, um, I was just making an update video about, uh, my health, um, you know, I was thinking, I, I really believe that, um, the COVID vaccine, um, caused damage to my heart and my brain, um, it explains why I get brain fog a lot, um, like I had said before, uh, back in January of this year, um, I was told that my brain does not match with my age, according to an MRI that was done on Jan January 22nd of this year. And then, so, uh, what had happened was I was experiencing a lot of nerve pain, um, and it lasted for about a year. And now it's died down, but I still have it every now and then. And then, um, since December, I want to say, I've been experiencing fluttering in my chest a lot. Um, and so I went to the cardiologist back in December, and, um, well... He ended up running a bunch of tests to check me for congestive heart failure that came back negative. Um, and then he did a transthoracic uh, echocardiogram uh, where they put the Doppler on your chest to look at your heart. And at first it showed... Um, there was a mild dilation of the Valsarva, I think it's called. Um, and then it showed um, a PFO, which is a, a hole in the heart. Um, so, uh, but it, it, it did not show a clear picture of my um, aorta root or the septum like a really clear picture of it, uh, but it did say something about an aneurysm back then with just that basic test. So I was sent for a, a stress test, but this time, instead of running on the treadmill, um, they had me do it by CAT scan or CT scan. And I had to take this medication that lowers my heart rate. And I think it went down to like, 58, I want to say, um, yeah, and then, uh, so once they, they got it down, it, it, because it was called a CT angiogram, and then a CT cardiac heart structure test, um, and so once they got it down, they did the scan, they put dye through me, and everything felt warm, and, um, that, that was from the contrast, um, dilating the blood vessels, or wh whatever they call them, uh, and so, that test showed no plaque in the arteries, which is a good thing, um, but it, even though I didn't have no calcium deposits building up in my heart, they recommended that I go for what's called a transesophageal echocardiogram, uh, where they put a, like a camera down your throat, uh, to send sound waves to your heart. Um, and so I had that test done. I was supposed to have, um, my heart reset. It's a, what, what is it called? conversion, I think it's called. Um, you guys could correct me, uh, but it's basically where they shock your heart back to a normal rhythm. But because my heart, uh, rate was normal si si sinus rhythm, they didn't have to do that. Uh, luckily. And I was scared about that, and I told them, I said, I don't want to have that done to me if, if I have a normal sinus rhythm because it could put me into um a dangerous uh rhythm 
uh, I forgot what it's called, the doctor said it, um, but, uh, yeah, they ended up skipping the conversion, um, part of it, and when I woke up, um, I was told that I have an ascending aorta root aneurysm that measures 3.2 centimeters. Now, I want to mind you that they are not 100% if it's an aneurysm or if it's an artifact. They won't know um, until February um, when they repeat the, the test. Um, so far, they've only ordered a trans thoracic echocardiogram. So I'm not sure if they're going to end up doing the other one too, like last time. But uh, yeah, they found that ascending aorta root aneurysm 3.2 centimeters and then in the septum which is below the ascending aorta root that's connected to the heart um inside the septum uh that one definitely is an aneurysm um it's measuring at 3.7 centimeters uh so it's near four centimeters probably now uh because that was back on valentine's day of this year um what else um i'm trying to think oh and i talked about the pfo bit erectional shunt that's bowing into the septum um so it's like the hole is so big that it's pressing against the septum, um, and, uh, where the aneurysm is, and then on the left top chamber, um, they found what's called a left atrial appendage, which it basically looks like a pocket that's filled with blood, um, now when they did the, uh, CT angiogram, they actually found the, um, defect, uh, the, uh, that pocket-looking thing, um, but they weren't sure, sure if, if the blood was just moving slowly or if it was clotting. Um, my guess would be if, if it was clotting, that's what they would be worried about, um, so that's why I had to have that scope put down me. Uh, luckily, it, it came back negative for, uh, for our blood clot, thank God, um, for that, um, they did say for the rest of my life I'm gonna have to keep getting looked at every single year, um, because of the Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, um, now when I originally got the gene test, it showed me as, um, type 4, but the doctors are thinking that it's vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome rather than an arthroplasia type, uh, which is the type 4 Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It affects your collagen. We have collagen that holds our organs together in place. Um, I guess mine is mutated. Um, and I did end up having a follow-up genetic test that showed that half of the mitochondria DNA is, uh, deleted or removed, um, it's not showing up, so, um, as I was doing research, you know, because I watch videos on, on X, formerly known as Twitter, um, there was this doctor that was talking about, um, it's an mRNA vaccine, um, and that it does all this stuff, and a couple of things that they had mentioned that, um, I, is what I, I had been experiencing, um, how it thickens the heart, uh, that's the other thing, um, that I have wrong with me, uh, and then they s said, like, the, the plumbing of the heart is normal, but when it comes to the electrical part of the heart, it's abnormal. Um, so when, when I get fluttering in my chest, I get real weak, di uh, lightheaded, dizzy. Um, 
and I get shortness of breath really bad. Um, the reason why I'm choosing to do a campaign is to try and raise money so that my family and myself could get another car. Uh, we just want one car um, so that I could get to my doctor's appointments. Um, I've had no luck with my insurance company still trying to get me out to New York City or even Maryland or Texas where they specialize with my bone disease. Um, and um, I would like to become um, affiliated with YouTube um, as well as other companies. Uh, I would like to give reviews in the meantime you know, on products, uh, if, whether it's electronics or if it's a mattress, um, because I like to do the, that stuff, um, and I find it very interesting, um, but yeah, uh, um, I also would like to say that I voted for Donald Trump, um, and I've been a Trump supporter since 2016. I voted for him in 2020, and I voted for him in 2024. And I've never attended a, a pride parade. Um, I don't believe that we have to express who we are as a person uh, just to make people feel like they're, I don't know, more of something. It, it, that doesn't j jive with me. Um, I may I may be gay, but I'm not one to flaunt it like most, I guess you could say. Um, and what upsets me is that DEI was created, and then they put the transgenders in the schools and in Disney, and ever since that whole thing happened, They've been m mutilating kids' bodies. L little boys, we're talking about. This is an adult with a fully de developed brain. The brain doesn't develop until their mid-20s. Um, so how do they know at that age that they want to get a, 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 a gender uh, surgery? I, I'm totally against that. And mind you, I'm totally against the puberty blockers um, because that's permanent. You can't undo the damage that has been done by them. Um, and that's sad to say. They forever change these kids' lives. Some of them regret having it done. Um, you know, in my eyes, uh, I see, you know, that I'm perfect just the way that I am. I never once questioned my, my gender. I wasn't brought up that way. Uh, we didn't have this pronoun thing like we have now. And it really bothers me. I don't like the whole fact that people could go to the Social Security Administration or Vital Records and get their birth, to, their birth certificate amended to say female or male. I don't agree with that. I mean, it's either you have XX or XY. Or, in rare circumstances, there can be um, a, a mutation in the sex gene itself. But, guys, it's extremely rare. And it doesn't fall under the LGBTQIA++. I mean, we started out with gay, lesbian, and bi. And then we came to trans, and then added in the rest. I'm not for that, okay? Party. Um, I am a conservative. I, I'm a believer in God. God comes first. Um, and I support everything that Donald Trump wants to do. I support getting rid of Pride Month. I support... Um, getting rid of Trans Day as uh, they chose to pick Trans Day on the day that uh, uh, Christ w was resurrected. Uh, it's supposed to be the, the resurrection of Christ. 
for people that believe in God. And I know that God is real because he's created miracles for me and my family. Um, so there's no question that he's real or not. He is real, period. Um, crisis came. Yes, I do agree with that. Yes, crisis came. Um, I watch Candace Owens a lot. Um, I love watching her. Um, show I really do and if she ever comes across this video I'm sorry that I look like this with my face I'm actually allergic to the sun so that's why I'm breaking out um that's a new problem and plus my immune system is weak from being on the uh what's it called Pro prolia uh that I get every six months it, so, on top of having my thymus gland removed, and then having, um, the Perlia shot every six months, um, my immune system is shot. It's like, if I get sick, I'm sick for weeks. And I, I could die, um, if I don't get tr treated, like, right away. Um, that, that's how bad it is. Um... But yeah, uh, I would like to become affiliated with YouTube, um, and I am not really keen on this whole gender ideology th thing. I'm against it. Um, now, this 4B movement is really stupid, I think. Just, just my opinion. Um, but I think it's dumb to do to shave your heads, girls, um, and tell your husbands that you're not gonna be intimate with them, and that you're gonna divorce them, or you're gonna cheat on them, that's breaking the, the Ten Commandments, um, and I'm a person who takes marriage very seriously, okay, and in the Bible, it clearly states that thou shall not commit adultery. It also says that you, you should not judge others. Honor the neighbor, they, they friend. I mean, I'm not real smart on the Bible, um, as my mom never took me to church growing up. Um, I'm just learning about it now, but I've always believed in God, um, in my heart and in my soul. Um, and... I, how I pray is I talk to him like a normal person would, um, like I was told by a reverend one time at my Episcopalian church, um, that I don't go to for reasons of transgender being introduced into that church. I think that no church should have this pride or transgender in churches. I think that should be kept out of churches, kept out of schools. Please leave leave parents' kids alone, okay? We don't need to even be pushing gay on them. Their, their minds are so gentle, and they are still developing um, up until, like I said, their mid-20s. Uh, let them find out on their own. Don't push it on them. Let's get rid of the non-binary. That doesn't exist, okay? You can't identify as nothing, but that's just my opinion. Um, but like I said, I'm a, tr I'm a big Trump supporter. I am a, a, a real re Republican. I do consider myself that, even though the, the school tried to get me to uh, be a, a, a liberal. Um, I noticed that they were trying really hard to push it on me, and they've always used to talk about evolution and stuff like that in school, and, you know, I don't believe that we came from apes. I'm sorry to say that, but I don't believe that the science thing, trust the science, you know, what they say, but I just want to leave it at that. that in my personal opinion, I don't believe in that. I believe that we came from God. Um, and I believe that you, when you guys call it a clump of cells, like when you abort a baby, 
you're actually murdering a, a soul, okay? Because I don't know if you know this or not, but that clump of cells that you guys call, I, I forgot what week it happens, but there's actually a light that that glows on it. And that, that's the, the soul entering into the embryo or whatever you want to call it, uh, fetus. Um, I call it a baby. Um, I don't call it a clump of cells. It's not a clump of cells. And doctors really need to stand their ground. I give them a lot of credit, uh, for what they have to put up with, um, with being censored for that whole pandemic that happened back in 2019. We weren't told about it though until March 17th, I want to say. I'm not 100% on that, but of 2020. But, uh, and then the vaccines weren't available until March of the following year, 2021. But, uh, yeah, I ended up getting my first two in March, March 4th, March 25th. Um, and I can't remember the rest, but it was a total of five vaccines, and it's including the two, uh, first doses of the Pfizer. Um, and I will say that I'm not the same person that I was before, and it upsets me. I was told that I'm at high risk for dementia, losing my memory at a young age, and I'm only 32 years old and already am suffering through a lot of pain with this brittle bone disease. There's nights where I, I can't sleep. Um, and um, the only thing I wanted to talk about was how my school failed me purposely. Um, yeah, I, I, gay was not accepted back in the years uh, between 2006 and 2010 when I was in high school and I went past 12 years in high school trying to, to graduate because originally I was on track to graduation. Um, I'm not going to lie, my, when I first entered high school I did miss a lot of the year because of bullies, non-stop threats and, and I, I was bullied by a lot of kids. Um, so my mom, the following year, I think I started part of 10th grade, I want to say, and then I was transferred to Greece Athena High School, um, and I thought that would be a, be a better option. Come to find out, it was not a better option, it was a worse option. Um, I was bullied by teachers um, calling me names, calling me the F word. Um, saying that I'm worthless, I'm useless, I'll never become anything someday. Um, my dreams of becoming a medical doctor are down the drain. Um, you could kiss that goodbye. And they all used to say that, um, my senior year, I would say, is when they said all this. Um, right before graduation, be all because I asked because other kids were allowed to order their cap and gown and yearbook. I wasn't allowed to order my yearbook. I wasn't allowed to order my cap and gown. Um, and I asked a simple question, why can I order my cap and gown for graduation, considering that I already know what college I want to attend. I wanted to go to Mon Monroe Community College for my undergraduate because I needed to work on some things like grammar. That's another thing that, that the school failed me on. Uh, they, they failed to teach me proper grammar. I mean, I can do some grammar if I already take my time, but I, I get really impatient. I think it's part of my attention deficit disorder that I was not diagnosed with back then, um, but I was clearly showing signs back then uh, with, you know, having problems staying focused on a topic. Um, uh, another learning disability I had was when I read a book, for example, um, I have to read it sometimes once or sometimes more. It depends. Um, I would say I have to be really interested in the book in order for me to 
understand it. So I think it's kind of like a mind thing. But my mom has like the same disability um, as me actually, which is really weird because she graduated. Um, and like I said, so ninth grade, I wasn't doing so well. 10th grade wasn't doing so well, but I, but I did, I did pass 10th and 11th and 12th, um, and then 9th. I mean, I, I did make up for 9th grade, um, so I was in route for my, gra my graduation, because what they did was they combined a lot of my classes the, fo the following year after my 9th grade year, um, and Originally, I had just about all the credits to graduate, and then, like I said, when I asked that question, and I finally got my final report card in the mail, um, I'm like, what happened to all my credits? There was ten, uh, n I would say nine, nine to ten credits, n n not there. Sorry about the stuttering, guys, it's the other problem I have, um... And, um, I had a counselor, uh, at the time, of course, a guidance counselor, and I had confronted her, and she says, we feel that you are not ever going to be ready. Um, the same thing that the math te the, the other lady told me, who happened to be a, a math teacher, um, like I told you before, like, that I'm a worthless piece of, uh, garbage, I don't want to swear, but... You guys can understand what I'm saying about garbage, uh, that, uh, people like you don't deserve anything in life, you're a low life, um, you know, you're never going to become successful in your life or be able to live on your own, um, And it was just really upsetting that they did not let me graduate. And I questioned myself, why? Why would they do that to a kid's life? What benefits them from failing me? If I was having a 3.7 grade point average and I was top of my class. Um... I contacted the school just the other day, actually, because I keep arguing with them on and off. And, you know, I, I said, you know, I'm not looking for money. All I'm looking for is my high school degree, my local diploma. I wasn't going for a regents. I wanted a local diploma. That's what they had in place for me because I was in part-time um, special education, um, but I wasn't like the other kids. It was a lot different. Um, so, that's really sad. I, I'm, my, my dreams were crushed at uh, almost 18. Um, now I'm 32. But I just want to spread awareness that uh, if you're ever bullied, don't do what I did and cry. You stand, stand your ground, okay, speak up, because I used to be afraid a lot of the times to stand up for myself. Um, you know, I, I suffer with post-traumatic stress disorder because, um, I was abused by my cousin when I was a kid, sexually, um, and it uh, really bothers me to this day to talk about, but I really don't want to talk about that. I hope you guys reshare this, that Greece of Central School District, Greece Athena High School, and Greece Olympia High School are the worst schools you could send your child to because they don't care about education they just don't and that's why I'm so glad that Donald Trump is willing to get rid of the Department of Education because of them trying to indoctrinate kids minds and that's what they've been doing for years 
in years. Um, I just thought I'd share this update. Hey guys, take care.